It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. Join Paul David and Kyle Benedict as they talk with our community's leaders, newsmakers, and people in the know. You'll hear about the hot topics that affect all our lives in Yavapai County. And now here's today's Countywide. Welcome to County Watt. I'm Paul David. As always, it's great to have you in the studio today. We've got a great show today. Gary Rideout is here, and he's got a couple of great programs. I guess they're one program, but it's got two different names. Vetroplex, Bets for Hire. Yes. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good to have you here. We've been talking for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We've already done the show once, so we're going to have to do it Correct. again. <laughs> so Gary promised that everything he's told me uh, while we were off camera and off the radio, that he'll, uh, he'll go ahead and do it again. Uh, first of all, phone number for you to jot down, and I'll, I'll say it again during the show, 284-2022, 284-2022, and then the website is vetroplex.org, vetroplex.org. So I'll, like I said, during the commercial breaks um, coming back, we'll, we'll talk about that more. But I want to start off with just you kind of, Gary, telling us a little bit about yourself. Okay, um, I was, I'm a veteran. I was in the United States Marine Corps uh, during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. And during my, my tour there, uh, my job was to bring ammunition to frontline troops, haul everything from tanks to ammunition to trucks, equipment, you know, food, um, and then POWs to prison camps and things like that. So um, I came out of the military and then started my own businesses. Um, I had a company called Ride Out Produce. And um, our tagline was, it's worth the ride out. So I was kind of the green grocer. Uh, drove a tractor trailer. I learned to do that in the Marine Corps. That was my MOS 3531. And um, so I was in the insurance business for about you know, 16, 16 or so years, door-to-door uh, -door -door sales. And um, you know, I was basically, it was making really good money. Moved, in, moved to Sedona and uh, loved the area. Moved here about six years ago, originally from uh, Massachusetts. So, and you know, I was like I said, I was doing well, and um, it was a tough job, but the money was great, and uh, it was hard to give up. And you know, just started. I don't know if I was having a, a midlife crisis at 40, but I was like, okay, the money's good, but it's not. I'm not. I'm not really doing anything to provide back to the community. I've always been passionate about veterans, and you know, I start seeing in the paper, you know. Um, it's the suicide rate amongst our returning veterans mm -hmm. um, is extremely high. I want to say every you know every uh, every day there's you know seven to ten vets that are that are killing themselves. So right. I wanted to do something about it. And um, when I when I was in Massachusetts and I had my stores, I worked for a company out of there called J.P. Sullivan. They're a tractor trailer company, and they just wholesaled apples and things like that. But right at the back, right right by where the facility was, there was a, a Fort Devens, which is an army base. And uh, most of my family lives back there, so I go back there quite a bit, Massachusetts and Maine. And um, <clears throat> it was amazing to see what they had done. The, st the state of Massachusetts formed an organization called Mass Development, and they've turned this army base, which is an artillery base, into a thriving, it's like its own town. They call oh, it wow. Fort Devons, which is an air Massachusetts. They have their own fire department, their police department. They've uh, attracted uh, many, many high-tech companies, distribution companies. They've cleaned up um, you know, the base, so there's housing, there's hotels, there's restaurants. So it's actually its own community, and they, the unemployment rate in that area had dropped to like in the 3% or 5% where the rest of the nation was in almost double digits. So, is it all veterans that are there too? No, it's not no. all veterans, but <laughs> it gave me the idea which, uh, cre which I created the Vetroplex and it was just the name. And originally what I wanted to do was you know, kind of like a boys and girls club for for vets, our returning vets that were coming back from you know Iraq, Afghanistan, or wherever other conflicts that we don't even know about that might be going on, where it would be a community center where you know the mom or the dad that was returning could get reacclimated with their family, and the community could buy bricks to build this building and um, you know donate it in, in the name of that family and. You create this place, this safe place with, you know, recreation, a pool, you know, workout gym, that type of thing, where they could go for free, mm -hmm. and the rest of the community could you know, obviously go there as well, but they would have to pay, which would help, you know, fund this. So, sure. then that really morphed into, I'm like, well, you know, what did Fort Devons do? They created kind of like a master plan community, and I thought, well, what a great idea to, you know, have veterans 
help other veterans build their homes, uh, build their businesses, and really build their future and have this community of veterans of like-minded individuals where they're running this community and, and the outside community is coming in and helping them. Obviously a big task right around that time that I created that, the market, you know, the mortgages and, you know, the market yeah. just Recession fell out hit. back in 08. So, um, you know, we I had a couple of developers that were interested in, you know, helping, but the funding, you know, we're, we were talking millions and millions of dollars. So, you know, I was still in the insurance business, still had this dream, and I was uh, working with one of my agents up in Utah, and we had to take a break to use the restroom, so we stopped at a gas station, and up on the bulletin board was this, you know, picture of a house and a family, young family, and it said, how would you like to own your own home? Um, you know, you know, sweat equity um, at 2,600 square feet, and the principal interest in taxes were like $600. And I'm like, that's amazing for a house that that large. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, and there was there was USDA role development. Um, so I and there was a, a nonprofit. So I had gone to uh, NACOG, Terry Drew, and, and Prescott, and Bill Bowen. He was consulting. And I told them about my business plan, and I went to SCORE, and I told them about my business plan, and I got a lot of great feedback. And um, anyways, USDA Rural Development, they do a lot of self-help housing where they help families, families get together, kind of like a Habitat for Humanity, and they build their own homes. Anyways, I contacted this nonprofit because I knew that there was no way I was going to get the funding to do this unless I worked with a nonprofit or I became a nonprofit. Right. And the money to do that and the time, you know, I just I didn't want to wait. I wanted to get it done, get it mm -hmm. done now. Uh, <laughs> and also, I, I knew, you know, we didn't have the money to form that nonprofit. And so I contacted a company called Color Country Community Housing. They've done a lot of uh, t uh, low income housing tax credit projects. And they're, you know, in Utah, they're here in Arizona. They did, a, a, I think, a 50 unit project in Page, Arizona. And so I, I presented my idea, my business plan to them. We ended up partnering and spent about a year and a half um, of my life working for them, consulting. And what they created here in Arizona, Housing for Heroes, which was located at my office in Sedona. And what I was doing, I was going out and, um, you know, just meeting with community leaders, meeting with uh, businesses. And the first step was, okay, we need some funding. So I created a golf outing. It was Housing for Heroes, uh, chip in. It was on 11-11-11, Veterans Day. And we did it at Oak Creek uh, Country Club. And it went great. We raised about twenty-four dollars to $27,000. Mm -hmm. So we applied for some grants. Uh, we found a building in, um, in Clarkdale, and we applied for the grant to purchase this building and create veteran housing, affordable housing for, for vets. Uh, first time we were denied, we went back at it, and uh, six months later, we, we were approved. They received the grant for about 700000 The owners of the building were going to um, you know, carry, carry the property, carry the note for about 10 years. It was great. We had uh, agreements with Catholic Charities to rent units. We had you know, town support, city of Cottonwood, town of Clarkdale. And <clears throat> unbeknownst to me, the nonprofit that we were working with were in financial troubles and they closed their doors. So I was sitting here, okay, what do I do now? Um, let's, let's take a break. Yeah, okay. Let's take a break right there. What are we gonna do now, okay? okay. All, All right. this is kind of crumbling down around you, yeah. so let's do that. Right. Gary Rideout, he's the founder and president of Vetroplex and Vets for Hire, number 284-2022, and vetroplex.org is the website. Countywide back in just a couple minutes. six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. 
Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Here is my handle and here is my spell. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Oh. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Cheers. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back. Gary Wright out in studio today, president and founder of Vetraplex Vets for Hire. Number is 284-2022 or Vetraplex, Vetraplex.org is the website. Okay, so Housing for Heroes mm, fails. No longer. No longer. Uh, now, what do we, now what do you do? Well, fortunately, um, I was through Linda Buchanan and Yavapai College. Um, she had introduced me to uh, Chip Norton, who was at the golf outing. And uh, Chip um, had approached me after all this had happened. And, you know, he, uh, he started an organization, or he was helpful in starting an organization called Friends of the Verde River Greenway. And they're located in Cottonwood, Arizona. And Chip approached me and said, look, I hear that you, you know, I understand you have a policy on what's going on with veterans here in the community. And I have a project that you might might be interested in. And he said, he told me a little bit about what they were doing, um, that the Walton Family Foundation was, you know, wanted to help the community. And, um, you know, really taking out the invasive species along the Verde River. We've done shows about that too, with yeah. the Verde River Greenway. You know, so. better access for the community, uh, for tourism, et cetera, but also, you know, to, to save the water, you know, our, our precious resource here. Mm -hmm. And the Walton Family Foundation really wanted this money to, to be able to do that, um, but also to be socially responsible and, and help with, uh, you know, help youth groups and also veterans was, was important to them. So Chip, Chip approached me and said, look, you know, I know you don't know exactly what we're doing, but he gave me an overview. However, um, is this something you'd be interested in doing? And I said, well, sure, let's take a look at it. So um, we agreed. We agreed upon what we were going to do and how the season was going to work. It was 22-week 20, season, and I needed to recruit six, six veterans for the season. Well, uh, we were able to do that. And, you know, it was interesting as most of the vets, all of the vets that came to me uh, that we hired were either unemployed at that time or, and some of them have been homeless. Mm -hmm. So we, we created this team, we went through training, we did 22 weeks uh, taking out invasives all around the community. Uh, the Walton Family Foundation came out, sent out a representative, and, um, and behind the scenes there was a, you know Arizona Youth Corps, they were doing the same thing in different areas. So they came out, they visited our crew, and they were very impressed with the work ethic and the discipline and the hard work that these guys, because they do bust their butts out there, mm -hmm. Um, they actually, at the end of the season, they funded us again. Um, they gave Friends of Verde River Greenway about four weeks worth of um, money to keep our crew employed. So we were able to, for the town of Clarkdale, create a walking trail, etc. That ended, and you know, our crew at the time, there's six of us standing around, we were like, you know, what are we going to do now? Well, we were, we were fortunate. The town of Clarkdale hired us to manicure their cemetery. Uh, the city of Cottonwood had hired us to do some work. So. At that time, we were like, okay, we, we're going to go do the next season. It's a five-year plan. Uh, we're actually starting on September 24th. This will be our fourth season. Um, and the Friends, Friends of the Verde River Greenway really put the Vetroplex on, on the map, you know, with their support. So the community, you know, the community started taking notice of some of what we were doing. And we created, um, we created Hire a Vet at that time. You know, we had guys that we had come from the construction industry, had been doing landscaping handyman work 
So we just started advertising in the local community after the river season ended. Mm -hmm. You know, all the guys wanted to stay on. Uh, we went from, you know, having six people by the middle of the summer. We ended up having about 12 people. We were running hire a vet out of a, um, basically out of a shed, a dirt floor shed uh, with a fax machine. We had power and, and, <laughs> okay. uh, and all of a sudden, you know, it just took off. Mm -hmm. um, then we then we created hire vet is really we we created vets for hire it's it's basically the same company so now what we do um, again we'll have seven vets this season starting on september 24th that will work along the verde river in oak creek for seven weeks doing river restoration i'm, I'm sorry 22 weeks doing uh, river restoration and then now we have a uh, full-time crews that do everything from remodeling to we have our general contractors license both in residential and commercial we do handyman we do landscaping um, but like, like i said the city uh, city of cottonwood has been very supportive they hire us to for their events for for cleanup and security Security and you know uh, maintenance or for their park buildings etc painting um, and then we also the town of Jerome has hired us the town of Clarkdale we've done work for Rainbow Acres you know some some larger organizations but you know our really our bread and butter is the you know the uh, the retired couples the veterans uh, we offer a veteran discount and a senior citizen discount so what we created here you know I thought to myself well we started advertising over in Prescott and we started getting work over there, but we were running, you know, cost of doing business, sure. we're running trucks, equipment, sure. fuel, people yeah. over there. Um, <clears throat> and then I, then I thought, well, you know what, this is, we've, I think we've created a model that we can duplicate across the nation. And, you know, again, with the uh, returning vets and the high unemployment rate, I just thought, geez, it's a great way to not only, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, not only earn an income to provide for my family, but be able to, you know, create opportunity and income for other veterans across the world, mm -hmm. I mean, across the nation. So we decided to franchise the company in June of, um, June of last year, 2014. And um, to date, we've sold four franchises. We have one in, um, in Prescott, which is run by Rick Gonzalez and, and Denise. And um, they just celebrated their first year anniversary. So, you know, the busier he's getting, he has veterans that he's employed into his organization. Uh, we have an operation in Chandler, Steve Simpson. Um, we have an operation in Phoenix, James Walsh. And that's actually a great story. James Walsh came to me, a Marine Corps veteran. Um, he did a couple of tours in, in Afghanistan and Iraq, combat tours. And I got a, uh, an email from his, from his dad. I had never met his dad, and James had been working with us for about a month. And um, I got an email, and, and his dad said, you know, my son's been working with you, and, um, you know, I just wanted to say that I've noticed that he, um, he's changed since he's come over to work with you. He goes, he seems to be coming back to um, where we recognized him, you know, as a little boy as our son. You kind of hear that story a lot, don't you? Yeah, and it meant a lot to me. And, um, you know, he said, you know, I'm looking to help my son, and um, can you give me a little more uh, information about the franchise, you know, opportunity? I think it's something that he could, you know, I'll help him. And, you know, so anyways, he's going to be starting his own operation in, um, <clears throat> in, in Phoenix. And, you know, our team uh, between Prescott, myself, you know, here in Cottonwood, um, and then we have another um, franchise uh, uh, here in town uh, called Vet Painters, which is we're running under the Vet Vets for Hire brand. So we have four, and we just know that this is something that you know, uh, sometime soon will be across the nation, and we'll be helping a lot of veterans. You know, not only with owning their own business, but helping other veterans come in and give them the opportunity. So James is a great example that, you know, he doesn't have a background in business. He doesn't you know how to run an operation. He's, mm -hmm. you know, he's good with landscaping and things like that, but working together, you know, as a unit, you know. We uh, can learn, Gary. As a squad, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. let's take another break. Gary right. Rideout, founder and president of Vetriplex Vets for Hire. Their phone number, 284-2022. Website is vetriplex.org. This is Countywide, we'll be back in just a couple minutes.
you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire. And that could be scary. Bye, Only you can prevent wildfires. Uh, Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. You constantly ignore me. You barely eat anything healthy. You're half as active as you used to be. The pressure is just too much. I quit. Okay, I get it. I'll do better. Just please, don't leave. Okay, but remember, if I go, you go. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. Uncontrolled high blood pressure could lead to stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. properly. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. I won't have to tell so many family members. I'm sorry. I won't hear as many scary stories. And I won't have to tell my kids. This isn't a drill. Please. Please, do it for us. Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Welcome back to Countywide. Gary Wright out in the studio today with Vetriplex, Vets for Hire. The phone number again, 284-2022 and vetriplex.org. we got a couple minutes left of the program, Gary. Yeah. Um, if I'm a homeless vet, uh, uh, maybe a vet that needs a job, mm -hmm. what do I need to do to get uh, in touch with you? Give us a call again at the 928-284-2022. Uh, we are recruiting right now for our uh, fourth river season. And right now we have uh, four four of our returning vets that will be on that crew, um, but we are, we do have uh, two to three positions available there. And as those um, as as those guys go over to the river crew, that's going to open up uh, landscaping, uh, labor, uh, skilled skilled tradesmen. Uh, we're looking to you know hire vets. We definitely have a, a veteran priority. Mm -hmm. However, um, for the construction handyman and landscaping. Um, if we can't fill that position, um, then we would look at, look at folks that are, are not veterans as long as they're hardworking. And you do some training too, though, right? Yeah, we do. We, yeah. uh, we have some older veterans that are skilled in the trades, and um, you know, we've been fortunate. They're, they can take, you know, take them under their wing and show them you know, masonry, carpentry, and things like that, landscaping, mm -hmm. and things like that. So, yeah. Hands-on learning. Yeah. All right. Well, this is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're excited, and uh, we appreciate the community that we work for, mm -hmm. and uh, we appreciate you know the veterans uh, that we serve and their sacrifice. And you know, a lot of our business comes from uh, comes from vets, and we hear so many times that you know, I'd really like to hire a vet. And I think it gives the community a way to you know say thank you for your service right. And, right. and put that in action. And um, no, we're we're our guys are appreciative of it because when you hire us, they get to work and they get to feed their families. You mm -hmm. know. And uh, we've created a lot of income here in the community for, for our local vets. So it's, awesome. it's, been, it's been great. It's yeah. really great. Thank great, you. Gary, thank you thank for your you. service. Right, and thank you for what it. you're doing. I really appreciate that. I think it's really awesome. Very Phone welcome. number again is 284-2022, vetroplex.org. I'm Paul David. That was Gary Rideout. And this is Countywide. We'll talk to you again next time.